I'm the Angry Game Smasher, and I'm here to speak truth to power and have opinions about video games. Ah! Hello, friends, and this time I'd like to talk about the recently released, highly anticipated game, No Man's Sky. The game is a variation on the Minecraft or Terraria style loot gathering and crafting mechanics people have seen before, but with the central addition of an algorithmically defined universe of incomprehensibly huge proportions, populated with practically infinite variations of flora and fauna, in stark contrast to many space games which tend to feature lots of interactions with aliens and epic space battles. No Man's Sky lives up to its name by using its massive scale to tell a story surprisingly small in scope. The bulk of your time is spent exploring the worlds you encounter, which only you might ever see, discovering and naming unique animals, and waiting as your ship travels through the vast unfathomable emptiness of space! For me personally, this generates a sense of ennui and humility previously consigned only to obscure, poorly translated games from Russia, and is an experience so rare for video games that I fear many players may not have the capacity to even appreciate the attempt! How can I tell you how polite I am if you won't take off your headphones? We need to protect video games from people who did social studies! Speaking of languages, the aliens you communicate with don't speak English, and thus you have to learn to communicate through sheer guesswork, or by slowly gleaning the translation of individual words from artifacts hidden on various planets. It's an exact replica of what it's like to try learning Danish. Jake Kunna God Tank Mitskovens Brigus. Aliens speak in what amounts to English with a word filter over it, which seems initially lazy and unrealistic, but rather than attempting to populate an incredibly vast universe with factions, characters, and fully realized languages, Hello Games have made the thematically appropriate decision to make the dialogue and interaction into an extension of the exploration mechanics, where you generally know what you're going to encounter, but the specifics are always going to be just a little different. Ah! I'm entitled to my own opinion, and that's the same thing as being right! Deus Ex designer and human miracle Warren Spector once wrote that the theoretical best game ever might take place in a relatively small, simple space which changes as a result of your decisions over the course of the story. No Man's Sky, by creating a gigantic universe but filling it with mundane and relatively low-key mechanics, presents a facet of this philosophy from the opposite direction. You're on a small, personal journey where planets, languages, alien creatures, and space stations all start to feel ultimately meaningless, but which are constantly changing just enough that while you're really on a small, personal journey, the texture of the landscape is always shifting, and everything feels quirkily alien and yet recognizable. But ultimately, this small indie team has created a truly honest recreation of the intense vastness of space by showing that everything is ultimately very similar and thesaurus mundane. I mean, commonplace. There are doubtless many critics who will see this as a bad thing, as an objective mistake, or as proof that they've been lied to by an evil developer, out to deprive them of the mythical prelapsarian concept of fun. I will not even fucking bother! We were fucking lied to! But I fear I must politely disagree with their perspectives, because as someone who distanced themselves from the inevitable marketing hype and managed to therefore experience the game for what it actually is, I found myself falling in love with its particular kind of calm, methodical pacing! The kind that doesn't lend well to obnoxious, over-the-top, angry, cynical, platitude-ridden videos that get that sweet, sweet YouTube ad revenue money flowing! The moments of slow-paced idle wandering gave me time to fully immerse myself in the feeling of being a space traveller! Something I must admit I've never been made to feel before by a video game! I felt lonely and adrift in an endless sea of stars and made to appreciate my smallness in the face of the unending nihilistic darkness of the cosmos! It reminded me of the year I spent dealing with insomnia by binge-reading Nietzsche and Cormac McCarthy novels! No Man's Sky forced me to meditate on the nature of my own existence in a way I've never done with any video game! And it does this with its very precise use of simple mechanics and relative emptiness other game critics are complaining about! I have a sneaking suspicion that No Man's Sky is so perfectly designed to force moments of introspection that gamers will be angry about it for forcing them to confront the darkness within their own soul! What game Georg Hegel referred to as the Knight of the World! Or as he would have put it, Das Nichts. It's at once straightforward, massive, tiny, daunting and enriching in a manner one might be inclined to describe as spiritual. However, the current expectations of space games is to be all singing, all dancing experiences of being an epic cybermarine who makes hashtag important decisions. So I highly doubt too many people will approach this game with the good faith required to make this game's interesting facets truly blossom forth. <clears throat> 
The game footage you're seeing here was borrowed from streamers because I find an intense personal fulfillment in the knowledge it is incredibly unlikely anyone will ever see the exact creatures I did on the planet I visited. If you're the sort of person who sees something gleeful in the knowledge that your experience won't quite line up with anyone else's, I heartily recommend No Man's Sky to you, sailor! However, I cannot currently specifically recommend the PC version. It may be my hardware, but the game was awfully laggy, and even when editing the .ini files, I found it was completely impossible to make my mouse sensitivity function properly. Luckily, I had played the game just little enough to refund it and revisit it in the vastly more stable PS4 version. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and have a wonderful evening! Ah! Ah! Whee! This week I'd like to thank Instant Grat, Jack Harvey, Jan Anders, Jason Walter, Jeffrey Theobald, Jenny Angel, Cafzile, Cav P, Kevin M. Knippy, M. K, Matthew Z. Biliani, Mitchell Reedman, Niels Abildgaard, Peter Broderson, Rebecca Washam, and Oliver Thiel, whose name I pronounced wrong in a previous video. I genuinely apologize for this mistake. If you put trigger warnings at the beginning of your videos, I'll fucking shit myself. Shit. Who's laughing now? <laughs>